All right, guys, it's Wonder Weasel back today. I am in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park out from Weir's Cove and up from Metcalf Bottoms at what they call the Walker Sisters Cabin, guys. Uh, we've hiked probably about three and a half miles probably from the roadway off of Weir's Cove Road. You can either come from Weir's Valley across it or come up from Metcalf Bottoms from Little River Road out of the National Park. It's the same road. It'll connect you one side or the other, either out of the park or into Weir's Valley, Tennessee. Guys, I'm going to take you over here and show you this old home place here in the park. And I'm also going to give you a little history on the Walker Sisters cabin here in a few minutes about the cabin and the family that used to live here. But first off, we're gonna go over here and we'll show you around everything and then we'll go from there, guys. So, all right, guys, let's do and go over here and check this out. As you can see, it's an old style farm cabin from back probably somewhere, I think it was in the 1800s. I will give you exact dates here in a few minutes when I, I've got some notes in my pack. I will show you the little spring house as you come up to the cabin, which is pretty nice. Hopefully we don't run into no snakes. So as you can see, very cool inside the spring house, guys. That's how they used to keep their milks and such like that. Cool in warm weather. Things that needed to be food products that needed to be cool so they wouldn't spoil. So all right guys, we're gonna come right on up through here. And like I said, I'll show you the cabin and some of the other stuff on this little area. This is the Walker Sisters Cabin in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, guys. All right guys, still here at the Walker Sisters Cabin. I'm gonna take you up here, show you the little barn before I show you the cabin, I'll show you a little bit about it, guys. You imagine living back in these days and having to live this lifestyle? It would be something, wouldn't it, guys? I was kind of hoping we'd run across the bear, in all honesty, up here. But yeah, guys, this is a little old barn for this little plant station. Here in the mountain, little farm, cabin house. Don't see no snakes, but I don't mean there ain't one lurking around. Back up here and give y'all a little better shot of this little cabin or little barn area. And you can see kind of in the area of where it is to the cabin. Right there is the cabin. And we are going to go over here and I'll take you through it and show you all about it and tell you a little history on it. Golly, the chimney work it's went into this thing, guys. Pretty wild. The little front porch area here when you come up on the cabin. Uh, if you come straight across the porch, you've got a room here, which I think, I believe it is the actual kitchen area. I have never saw that before. I don't know what that is. It looks like, like a vine wrapped up in the rafters here, like something's tried to grow through. There's another chimney area right here, guys. You got a little window cut out here, which I think the... Not sure. huh? There was a glass here, I'm assuming definitely at one time, but it's been knocked out. You can see out behind the cabin area. Okay. Uh, some shelves over here. Uh, 
Actually, guys, I just I was pointed out something that right here in this room, in this cabin, where this fireplace is, there's a hole that goes up through. I'm going to turn the camera straight up. It goes up out that there was a cook stove right here. Would have been a cook stove pipe chimney that went out. So I believe this would have been the place that they prepared their food and such. So we're going to go on across through the rest of the cabin and I'll show you about it. Alright guys, we've come out of what they would have been used as the kitchen area of the Walker Sisters cabin and we're going to now go into the main part of the house cabin. Oh, we've got a bird's nest with an active bird in here. That's cool. Hi birdie. If y'all can see the nest and the bird. Oh, she just flew out of her nest. Okay. Okay. Well, we can come back in a minute. Uh, there's another fireplace in here. This one I was actually showing you from the outside, guys. The great big one that's facing toward the barn area. It's a lot of workmanship in that right there back in those days that hadn't built these. And to be that it's sturdy and it's still intact like it is impresses me. The whole cabin is impressed really, really good. Like this would have been the living quarters of the cabin down in here. There is the back door out the back side of the cabin out of this area. And there is a ladder right here, guys, if you can see this, that goes up to the upstairs. I don't know if I can actually get you all up here. I'm going to try to. So give me just a second. I'm going to put the camera off so that I can try to climb up this. Once we get up there, then I'll put it back on. All right, guys. I'm just going to show you the second floor. I just could come up the ladder high enough to show you the second floor where the, probably the bedroom such was. The ladder's not real sturdy once you get toward the top. It's kind of floppy, and I'm about afraid to try to continue enough. It may come loose from the wall. I really don't want to fall. So I'm going to just kind of show you around. I had a little window up here, a little door window up in the top. But this probably would have been the bedrooms, guys. I want to say there was nine to ten people that lived here at one time. A whole family of the Walker sisters family. But I'm gonna give you the history on that in just a few minutes. Alright guys, we're gonna go back down and I'm gonna give you some history on this cabin in this area. Alright guys, I'm gonna give you a little history on the Walker Sisters cabin here in the National Park. I told I showed you the sites, the spring house, the cabin, the barn, and such. All right, guys, here, here's a little history on it. The Walker Sisters cabin. The cabin was constructed in 1853. John Walker gained ownership of the cabin and property in 1866 when he married Jane King, youngest daughter of the previous owner, Willie King. John and Jane had four sons and seven daughters, all raised in the cabin. The four sons and one daughter married and left the property. Seven daughters never married and would spend their lives here where they were born. The Walker family was the only family who chose not to sell their property when the National Park was formed. Instead, they chose to take the option to live on their property until their death. The last member of the family to live in the cabin was Lisa Walker, who passed away in 1964. The property included the cabin, the barn, the pig pen, the corn crib, the 
smokehouse, the apple house, the blacksmith shop, and a small tub mill along with a spring house. So guys, that's a little history on the Walker Sisters cabin. Yes, I could not recite this off my head. So I've got a little cheat history book of the information wrote down so I can share this with you. I've showed you the cabin and the barn and the spring house to my knowledge the apple house, the blacksmith shop, and the tub mill are not actually here. I'm not 100% positive if maybe they might have done some of the blacksmithing and such in the barn. I don't know for sure, but it might have been possible. But guys, there was somebody that lived here, which was the last sister in 1964 that's the last time that anybody has ever lived on this property so i just wanted to give you that information so that's a little history for you if you are able to hike this if your abilities to hike are able to do make this trip guys it's somewhere two to three and a half miles depending on which route you come in Alright guys, yeah, it's like I said, it's about a three three mile hike in. Um, come check this out guys. I'll give you a little history on the Walker Sisters cabin and showed you the sites. Uh, yeah guys, it's in the National Park. You'll have to look it up, but it's an enjoyable place to come. But come see the sites guys, if that's your thing to check out old farms and such. So, alright guys. If you like the vlog, thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel. And this is the Wonder Weasel signing off.